Hi Scorpio, doing your April forecast 2020. It's just a general, general uh, wheel, Aries wheel. So if you want your ascendant, get a birth chart calculator. It's, there's one on my website, margaretrosenastrology.com, or um, look up birth chart calculator, Google it, and you can find one, get your ascendant. Then you'll know where your all your transits are, what houses they fall in. So anyway, Scorpio, your ruler. Let's start there. <laughs> let's start with Capricorn, where all the all the power has been, all the whole stellium conjunction, the great conjunction has been. It's moving into Aquarius now, so that should be very, very interesting. But your ruler our rulers are Pluto and Mars. So your Mars, currently, your Mars is just in Aquarius. But your ruler, your other ruler, is in Capricorn. Authority, government, uh, professionalism, authority. I already said authority. Yeah. Career, career sector, 10th um, house is what it rules. <clears throat> so Saturn is the ruler of both Capricorn and Aquarius. So it just moved out of Capricorn away from Pluto. So they were acting as two great malefics and, and Jupiter was expanding all, all this world stuff going on. So it's still going on. And Saturn has been causing separation for all of us. Um, isolation, separation, hardship, difficulty. So that's pretty much the name of Saturn. Um, so now that it's, so currently we have Pluto, your ruler still is in Capricorn and Jupiter as well, expanding. Um, it's still expanding the contagion and just the, everything going on with authority, authority figures and health and Jupiter is usually a benefit, but at times, you know, it it can expand um, difficult things as well, you know, because that's its nature. It just expands things, but it can be the great benefit, or it can also cause trouble. In this case, it's been expanding a lot of problems throughout the world. Um, so Saturn is causing isolation in our homes. Um, Capricorn is opposing the North Node, which is in Cancer. So here we are holed up in our homes, quarantining and self-quarantining. <clears throat> Hopefully everyone is staying home. So, um, yeah, so the South Node also is in, is in Capricorn, adding to the difficulty that we've been having worldwide. So... Anyway, moving on to Aquarius, this is where all the transits are. So Saturn just stationed zero degrees Aquarius on, I believe, March 24th, March 24th. Um, yeah, I think so. No, actually, actually, this is a new moon I'm looking at. This is a new moon I'm looking at. Anyway, um, these are the transits for April 5th. So it's got Saturn and Mars in, in um, Sagittarius. So hopefully that won't act as a malefic. I did hear from someone who had Saturn when it stationed zero degrees sitting right on his sun. And it just caused three major problems in his life, life problems right away. Uh, that can be devastating. Um, so Saturn and Mars hopefully, hopefully, will be used in a good way and not mess with any of our technology because we need our Zoom meetings, we need our technology, we need the internet to socialize during this time of isolation that when we're all separated. And, um, so, yeah, that's... So a good way to use it is... is um, through technology, I think Mars can bring it really strong. Mars is the rule. It's your ruler, Scorpio. <laughs> Break it down. 
Mars is your ruler. It's also the ruler of Aries, so it will give drive to technology, science. Uh, Aquarius just, you know, they're they're cool people. They're just kind of they're, they're up in your head. They're very opinionated. They're very analytical and sort of strange and like to do their own thing. They're radical. They're rebellious. They're different. Uh, yeah, and so with Mars there, you, you could bring. You know, like say you had some great idea, you know, you could put it into form and the form would be um, Saturn. So putting groups into form, putting technology up into some kind of form, if you've been wanting to do that, whatever you're, whatever it is you're interested in, Scorpio, um, now is a very good time to do that. So just going around the wheel, the, the other transits, they're all pretty much up there in the top of the chart, but um, Pisces, Neptune in Pisces ha has been sextiling Capricorn. So that's an easy flowing harmonious aspect, but what it's been causing is, is confusion, a lot of confusion and misinterpretation of facts because Mercury, the planet of communication, is there as well. So Neptune Neptunian illusion, it's like the Neptunian fog. You can't really see through it until the reality finally hits you. It's not what you perceived it to be at first, like, you know, being in a romantic relationship and then you get to know the person and it's like, who is this person? You know, it, that's, that's Neptune. So Neptune and Mercury is sextiling these planets that we've had in Capricorn, the outer planets all in conjunction has caused a lot of misinformation. But the higher octave of, of Neptune and Mercury in Pisces would be service, um, you know, service, helping people, spirituality, artistic, creative. Um, yeah, if you have any artistic, the helping professions, psychic, intuition, I'm just naming keywords right now. But if you have any um, capability for giving service right now, if you're in the helping professions, um, yeah, people really need you right now if you want to put yourself out there. Um, that's the higher higher octave of Neptune. But the, there's a lot of miscommunication and deception going on with that too, which, you know, we're, we're hearing now. Everyone's contradicting each other. So hopefully when it moves on, when Mercury moves on to Aries, it's going to be direct. It's going to be the facts. No dreaminess, fogginess, dissolution. It'll, it'll, that will change. So that will be a relief. So anyway, Scorpio, since you guys both share that ruler of Mars, um, where is you? Yeah, so your Mars is in, is in Aquarius. So that's... That's what you need to focus on, where your rulers are. So both your rulers are up there. They're Pluto's in Capricorn and Mars just stationed in Aquarius. So uh, yeah, it's structure, restructuring, maybe restructuring your whole life, you know, we all are. And communication groups, humanitarian endeavors, and um, weird ideas, Astro astrology. I mean, it's gonna be a whole you know, some say it's ushering in the Aquarian age, which they kind of overlap. The Piscean age and the Aquarian age will overlap. There's no exact moment that it starts. So anyway, I do hope we're at the end of the Zodiac. Um, I did do Aries, I hope. Chiron, I don't know if I just started with Scorpio, probably. So I'm doing this backwards, but just in case I didn't do Aries, um, the sun and Chiron are, yeah, I did that. And Uranus and Taurus. It's changing the way you make money. And since you rule joint assets, inheritance, uh, passion, intensity, you could use Uranus and Taurus. And Venus is just slipping into Gemini. So um, you could use it to create a different way to, to make money, you know, through your passion. I, th I think that's the way to go, to indu individuate and do your own thing, and try to make your own money and not be dependent so much on the authority. 
on the authority, which is what the Great Conjunction in, in Capricorn, I think, has been teaching us. You know, we're still dependent on that, but I think that the way to go is to ind individuate. And Uranus is, is a rebel, and it's also revolutionary. Um, it's a libertar libertarian, and it's the ruler of Aquarius. So you could use that um, with Mars up in... in in Aquarius to maybe think of new ways to um, make money or what you value or your change around your material assets. You know, they, they, it, it could be very changeable and volatile as it has been for all of us. Venus is in Gemini, so that's just getting, getting, um, getting your chow down. I mean, it's very, very social, very social. Um, and will help with communication and love, love affairs and uh, friendship and all those good things. And so, and as of today, as of April 5th, the moon was in uh, Virgo. The moon was in Virgo, so that's all the health workers and the contagion. And uh, so that's about the end of it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, Scorpio. I hope you're hanging in there. Um, yeah, if you have Scorpio Ascendant or Scorpio Moon, it's for you. Um, if you'd like your individual chart read, of course, I can do that. MargaretRosenAstrology.com If you'd like to check out the new merch I've been designing, that's, what, that's how I've been using my Uranus and Venus and Taurus. Is just out of the blue, I decided to design... Because um, that would be different for me. Uranus is different, unusual, and unexpected. And Venus is beauty and what you like. And so I like art. So I, I just kind of mutated art and thought maybe I should try to make money in a different way. You know, just every little bit helps. So um, just an idea. <laughs> so anyway, take care, Scorpio. All right.